I met was in Zaire, having me from the weapons manufacturing, or the occupation itself, or the siege on Gaza. It's going to get shot. used 
provide drinking water for Palestinian villagers. Yay! How the Canadian media and politicians conveniently leave out that for 16 years the Zionist State of Israel has implemented a brutal blockade on Gaza by air, sea, and land. Yay! A blockade that resulted in civilians living through extreme poverty and food shortages, where four in five Gazans have been dependent on humanitarian aid. This suffocating blockade constitutes as a war crime, as it is a form of collective punishment on over 2.3 million Palestinians in Gaza, of which nearly half are children. What if I told you that even between 2018 and 2022 alone, over 1.2 billion tax-free dollars were raised through Canadian charities for the genocidal state of Israel.
hundred years has fought against the most sophisticated military advanced empires, refusing to surrender. The Palestinian nation will accomplish victory within our lifetime.
you to send a letter to your teachers as well, to let them know they may not know that their pension plan, pet plan is invested in weapons companies. Please help spread the word. Please help pressure the Ontario Teachers Pension Board plan board right now. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, Dr. Arena. This is a reminder that we will not stop and we will not rest until every single Canadian institution divests from investing in Israeli companies. Whether it's schools, whether it's banks, whether it's pension plans, it does not matter. We will continue to protest. We will continue to launch campaign after campaign until every single institution in the Canadian state stops arming and funding that immortal Israeli army and to stop funding and the flow of weapons, the flow of money to this genocidal entity, the Zionist extremist entity of Israel. Uh, next, we have one more speaker, uh, Dr. Amiya Khan, who is a doctor and specializes in bone diseases and is, is a humanitarian who has been and worked in the, in the last bank in the last year. Please welcome her, please.
of the regional developments in Palestine and the Middle East. Since the beginning of the genocide, the Zionist regime have been trying to expand the genocide to other areas in the region. They have targeted Lebanon, Yemen, Iraq, Syria, Palestine and others. This morning, the US and the UK targeted Yemen with more airstrikes. Shit! The people of Yemen have proved that they will not be they will not be silent. So let's let them hear us. Yemen, Yemen, make us proud! No, Yemen, make us proud! Yemen, make us proud. Yemen, make us proud. And they've been trying to push for a regional war. As we watch Israel beat the drum of war against Lebanon, we need to be more united. We need to be more organized. And our voices need to be louder. Hands off Lebanon now! Hands off Lebanon now! Hands off Lebanon now! Hands off Lebanon now! Hands off Lebanon now. Because they're scared. Because they know they can't win, and they will not win. The Zionist regime and its allies have only one answer to everything, which is more violence, more killings of our people, and more massacres. Sure. But they're only doing this because they're weak. This enemy was defeated before. It was defeated in Cuba. It was defeated in South Lebanon, and it will be defeated again in South Lebanon. It will be defeated in Palestine. And they will be defeated with the will of the people, with the will of the masses, with us all united, with us all resisting. The people united will never be defeated. The people united. on all fronts and will be defeated from Turtle Island to Haiti to Cuba to Congo to Sudan to Kashmir Lebanon, Yemen and Palestine The people united will never be defeated The people These students These students they understand they understand the power that they have, like how we understand the power we have by taking over the streets, they are taking over their university. So we ask you, we ask every single one of you, if possible, to please go to the encampment after this rally. Please go, after, go to the encampment as much as possible. The students need our support. The students are the future. This is the future. We are the revolution! These are things that are very, very, very easily achievable. No matter what they try to tell us, no matter what they try to tell the students, to tell the public, it is something very easily. The president of the university will talk about UFT. President Merrick Durbin, with a snap of his fingers, can divest, can disclose, and can terminate. He has our ultimate veto power. Nobody can stop him, but he'll continue to lie to us. That's why we're not accepting anything less than disclosure, divestment, and termination. And to continue, we have disclosed and divested and terminated before from South Africa, from Vietnam, from the Vietnam invasion, and as well as from fossil fuels. Just before this, we had a speaker who was discussing Ontario pension plans. The University of Toronto divested divested from fossil fuels, and then they try to delay it as long as possible. The university's pension plans, they continue to extend, they continue to keep their pension plans within fossil fuels. Fossil fuels are so easy, everyone knows that they're bad for the environment. They ruin everything, but the university doesn't care. They care about their profits, they don't care about human lives, they don't care about the world. It's that simple. That is why we are here, that is why we will stay here, that is why we will be here every damn week! We will be here! We will be here until the University of Toronto and every university in Canada and every university in
the world discloses, divests, and terminates from Israel. We will be here until Palestine is free! either in heart or in spirit, and we will physically be here every week, no matter how many times Hesed calls for us, we will answer. <laughs> With that being said, I want to thank everybody for coming out to this, I want to thank everybody for coming out to this action, and I hope we continue to see you in every action. Follow uh, POIM Toronto, or follow Toronto for Palestine. Follow these groups to see where our next actions are, and please, I'm going to re reiterate this. The University of Toronto encampment needs your support. It needs your bodies. It needs everybody to go there as soon as possible. <laughs> with that, I'd like to thank everybody for coming. Please make sure that you are leaving with somebody. If you came alone, please come up to us. We have marshals, we have people that may be able to help you get home by, without, not by yourself. So thank you all so much for coming. And please have a good day.